uh, for this part, uh, you could go ahead and try and unwrap these on your own. I'm just going to do, since I'm going to be unwrapping them on my own, I'm going to go ahead and record it anyways as a special supplement for you. Uh, but this is just unwrapping the side pieces, or I'm sorry, the remaining top portion. So I'm just going through and trying to make sure that my top elements here are actually about the right size, so that's good. And so one thing I realized I could do is I can actually, uh, if I orbit around so I could kind of see this a little bit more, and then kind of zoom in. There we go. I go to select. I can double click on an edge here in this view and do a quick align. And it's going to quick align all of these many, many edges and take a lot of the guesswork out for me. And it's just a way to make sure all these guys kind of line up with one another. And then I'll just work my way through and around here to do that. Oops, got the same row again. Oops. Yeah, got to be careful what you're double clicking on. And I'm almost done. All right. I think that's about all of them. Just make sure I deselect these guys down here at the bottom that I've already done. There we go. I'll just do a quick align and then all I need to do is just grab the ones that make up the very top row. So at this point case I switched to vertex point. I selected all of them and just did a quick align. Okay so uh, same drill as before. Uh, I'm going to take these and move them down here and so it can get it can get oddly cluttered as you're working through. So I'm going to go polygon element I'm going to grab these pieces that I've already UV unwrapped. All right. I'm going to turn on absolute type in and just type in uh, under the, the, the V axis here. I'm going to type in negative two. And what that does is it just takes those UVs and offset them by two tiles. Uh, you'll notice they still look exactly the same, but now my workspace up here is free. All right. So let's grab this piece and move it down to our workspace. There we go. And so now we can kind of take it and adjust the size. And so if we wanted to break it up into different sections based on how it sits, I mean, we certainly could do that. It'd be easy enough now that it's kind of separated like this. Like we could turn off select by element and kind of come in and see, like maybe we want to go up about this high and maybe we'll take this and break it off to be its own chunk. Just adjust the scale of it a little bit so it kind of terminates in the dark. Turn select by element back on and grab everything that makes up the top. Uh, and let's take a look. Maybe I'll make this a little bit smaller so we can see what we're doing. Yeah. I'm going to hit Q to get out of orbit there. And just do the manual a little bit. All right. All right. So let's grab this top row, and maybe that will move down to kind of this portion. So we get a little bit of the. Oops. I'm gonna switch that just to move and get it so it kind of sits just underneath here. And then let's grab the transform. Scale that out so it matches. So now we get these these cool different sections happening and let's just right click go to move and we'll change our move to move horizontal only and then we can kind of adjust so that the corners are all right or the edgings right there and then we may need to select just like this row and grow our selection and then maybe just slide him over where he sits Right. And we're just kind of fine tuning where the edges, where that detail kind of sits here. So that's me grabbing a polygon and then growing that selection. 
and then sort of moving it over. So that's all I'm doing there. And we can we can work to kind of fine tune that on all these different pieces. And the more we do that, the more we kind of grow our selection. It's odd that it's not growing anymore. There it goes. Okay. So if I orbit this around, orbit like so. We can just kind of take a look and see like what's the what gives us the nicest the best option for getting these things to top. We just want to make sure our, our seams don't sit in weird spots. Just kind of rotate that over. Yeah, so I think those are looking pretty cool. Alright, so that, that kind of hits the, the top portion there. Now we do have this sort of large scale pieces up on the top and what we're going to do there is similar to what we had done before where I'm going to rotate this, move it over, oops, let's change our move to all directions, take this guy, and actually I'm going to turn off and uh, rotate him, and then I'm just going to select, I turned off select by elements so and grab one polygon and break it, grab another polygon and break it, and then I can move these so that these pieces all kind of sit on top of each other and these don't need to kind of sit and mirror on top of one another so I'm switching to vertex point now so that I can grab my vertex points and do a quick align on them because I'm just gonna line them up with the the kind of tiling flat portion at the bottom here Let's just throw a freeform on it and sort of move it over here. Let's make this full screen. Now we'll just kind of move this over and bring this in. There we go. There we go. So now there's that portion. Right click and convert that to poly. Now zoom out. Right? And it's looking really nice, our arch here. So I can come in here to element click on one of these guys and just say I'm just going to detach the one so I'm only dealing with these two now let's unwrap UVW and similar thing open the UV editor right and so I have my different portions that I'm dealing with right and so I could come in here and grab everything that makes up kind of these main body portions and I could kind of break those off and let's take a look at the texture so we want to see that trim so these guys I'm going to actually go ahead and rotate and it's going to be a similar function there where if I kind of take everything and sort of line them all up then I could do this all at once and it makes my job a little bit easier there we go so here's these pieces Oh, looks like I forgot to. Let's grab those, break those, rotate them, and then move them over. And my goal here is just kind of get these things to generally kind of line up. Oh, forgot that side. There we go. Okay, so that's everything that makes up those large scale columns. And so if they're kind of start up here on the edge, I could hold control and drag those so that they go to the side. You see how those look. Oh my. And it looks like I forgot one. Now I think I got everything. So let's bring him over. Just drag him to match the rest. And you know, I keep, it keeps throwing me off. Options, preference, select, selection preview. Turn that off. There we go. And then I could do a quick pass here in vertex mode where I don't mind. I'm not going to bother lining things up on the sides, but I am going to, or horizontally across, but I do kind of want to line up these points that way any seams will, will line up left right there we go now we can orbit around and sort of see orbit around with our view cube to kind of see there's those that piece on there now I think one thing maybe we're getting a little too much of this ambient coming through so maybe we'll grab all of this and just bring this up a little bit so there's a little less of that ambient coming through and by that I mean how it kind of gets darker 
coming up. I was making those look a little odd. All right, so now we can do some of the similar things we did previously where I could come in here and in polygon mode, I'm gonna click on the polygon that makes up the very top of this detail here and then just grow my selection. And I'm doing that until, oops, I'm gonna undo a couple of steps. All right, because I, I only want what's on the top. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and projection map that. along Z and I'm going to turn that off and then I can kind of move this over to the side and click on the top polygon and break that off move it over and I'm just going to shrink him down so he sits in this nice tiring detail portion and now I can take these other guys and just peel them and I'll rotate them around my goal being to kind of line them all up with each other there we go that's looking pretty good now we'll rotate it again and then same deal as before we're just going to kind of take this over here and kind of line it up I sort of want to get it just underneath just there because i want to get some of that little detailing that's happening there i'm holding control when i use this uh, gizmo so that the detail, um, it keeps everything proportional. There we go, so now it's got a nice little bit of detail on it. And we'll kind of do something similar here with the top of this, where I'm gonna grab all these pieces. And we're just going to, all right, that's everything that makes up the top. And once again, we're just gonna projection map it from above. And this one's a little bit different. We need to kind of select that polygon on the very top and just break him off and move him down here so he sits in this timing portion. And then we're going to do the same things with the sides here. So I'm going to actually go into edge and double click on this edge and convert that selection to seams and then if I go to wireframe, I'm going to grab this edge here and then orbit around and grab that edge. So basically these three, because I want to kind of connect that whole, grab that whole area. And I'm going to convert that over so that I can select this one polygon, expand my selection, and I just need to deselect the main body there and then I should be able to peel that and there we go tools relax start relax so it's going to kind of do its best to relax it uh, it's because of the shape of it it's probably better if we just actually at this point break these different parts off and then relax them one time one more time so they're a little bit separate and then he's so small, we're just going to scale him so that he's sitting just again in this tiling area. And that just leaves this back part, which we're going to break that off as well. And relax it. And then, because there's a lot of this, we're just kind of sticking in this tiling area. And really now, it's uh, these two portions here on the side. Same thing, we're going to break those and relax them. And those kind of get <laughs> buried away over here. And now all we're left with really is just the front. So we're going to orbit around and we're going to turn on default shading. And I'm just going to relax this and then I can bring this piece down. If I just right click go into scale and move, I can move this to line it up. I can figure out what's the best por sort of like detail trim portion that I want to get on there. And that's, you know, really up to me, kind of you as the artist, what you want to do, what you'd like to have show up there. All right, like I think that'll probably look nice. All right, so there's that. So here's what we're going to do. 
we are going to right click and convert to editable poly. All right, let's hit zoom uh, and orbit around our view cube here. All right, so I'm gonna select this piece here and I'm gonna go into element and grab this whole little column piece. If I go to move, you can see that I can move it. I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna actually hit detach the button. And when that comes up, I wanna hit detach as clone and say, okay. I'm gonna turn that off and then right click and say hide selection. And you see there's still one left. So I can click on that now and move it over and line it up with that column that's sitting there. So let's right click and hide it. And so this old one that is not UV unwrapped, let's delete that. And at this point, we're going to right click and unhide all. And let's deal with our arches. So I'm in here, I'm gonna go into element, I'm gonna select the arch in the back and just delete it. And now I'm gonna select this arch and change it to ID2. All right, so now you can kind of see, kind of got that tiling texture on it. I could try using my uh, UVW X form. That's a fun one because that allows me to go in here and adjust tiling. So if I want to tile vertically in half, I could say like 0.5. Nope, leave that. Is it this one? So by changing it to 0.25, you can see how that's changing the tiling frequency on this to get that detail coming across. And I could adjust this one. So I think what I actually need to do is I'm gonna reset these both to one and I need to change my rotation to 90. There we go. And so I've rotated 90 degrees. I have this tiling portion that's coming across here. I'm gonna change the V to 0.5 and then I can do an offset of 0.25 or 0.5 or 0.75 and just get it to different portions. And then the U I can tile more often. So you do notice anytime you have a, a straight line like this, it tends to get distorted when it sits on the UVs. Like I could, if you get it to line up right on the actual line, then that distortion goes away. But if you line, have a line traveling through, it doesn't look so good. So let's actually not do that. I'm going to set my U offset to zero and change the U tiling to two and just leave it at that. I think that'll probably look fine. All right, right click, convert to edit poly. Let's orbit around and just, now that I've done that, let's, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I think that's gonna look nice. All right, so let's select the main body here. And what we're gonna do is attach all these parts to it. Oh wait, before that, I'm going to take the main body I'm actually not going to do that with. I'm going to just going to select this arch piece here and put a symmetry on it and change that to Y axis once that gets on there. Sorry, the machine's running kind of slow tonight. So Y axis, flip it. And then I'm going to select these beams here. I'm going to make sure I'm on select so I'm not accidentally clicking and moving objects. All right, so let's put a symmetry on these so that I don't symmetry them over. Oh, but you know what I forgot to do? I wanna come down here to edit poly and I'm gonna click on edit poly and I wanna attach uh, that missing piece of geometry to it. So I'm just gonna click on that. So now I can click on that missing column, right click to get out of that mode, and then go back up to the symmetry that's there. And see how that brings the symmetry up? And then I can do one more symmetry. And again, this will be me changing it to the Y axis. 
and clicking foot. And now I'm going to click on my main arch and put one symmetry on him. I'm going to right click and say convert to edit poly. And I'm going to click attach and I'm going to click on these other pieces and get everything attached together and then hit Z and zoom out. And now you can see that I have my arch and it's been completely UV unwrapped. All right. And it's got tiling textures on it and it's ready to show up. So make sure you save that because we're going to bring that into a game engine.